What's up everyone? Chris from B Minus Demos here. I say that like there are other people here. It's just me. I'm the only one who does it. Chris from B Minus Demos. That's me. Uh, listen, if you're new here, thank you so much for checking out this video. Uh, you know, I hope you stick around for more videos in the future. If you're coming back, you are so awesome for continuing to watch my videos. Uh, I have so much fun making these, <clears throat> so I really appreciate that you guys come back and watch. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'm not trying to beg or anything, but I really appreciate it. Like I, every time I log in and I see a new subscriber, I'm pretty psyched about it. So, you know, I want this to continue to grow. I do want us to build a community. Uh, I've said before, maybe that's a little lofty, but I think we can do it, guys. I think we can do it. Feel free to like this video and leave me a comment letting me know uh, what's one piece of gear that you've gotten rid of that you wish you could get back. I'll tell you mine right now. I had one of the uh, really early run uh, J Mascus Jazzmasters uh, with the rosewood fingerboard. Uh, I got rid of that about a year ago and I have regretted it ever since. This week we're looking at the Death by Audio Germanium Filter. This is a pretty simple pedal. Uh, I have the website pulled up here because I had an idea of what I thought it was and I was wrong, so I'm glad I pulled it up. But they describe it as their love letter to sticking a pencil through your speaker. Uh, so basically, if you want things to sound super blown out, you can get that. If you want them to sound like super tinny and clangy, you can get that. In fact, clangy is what kept coming to mind when I was playing this. This thing is awesome. Uh, I really love it. This is my first Death by Audio pedal that I've ever played, and I had so much fun playing this. It's pretty simple. You've got your filter up here, so it goes from heavy down here up to high, and when we get to the sound demos, you'll kind of hear that, that that can make a really big difference. And then you have your gain structure down here, so from clean to dirty, uh, and again, that can go from like kind of a almost a clean boost, like a slightly dirty boost, all the way up to like this super blown out sound. There's also an internal uh, volume pot, um, which is the only complaint that I have about it. Because when I first started playing it, I was like, this thing is so quiet, and that's not what Death by Audio is known for. So my first thought was there's probably a volume pot on the inside, there is, it makes a huge difference, but I do wish that was on the outside. Now, this pedal isn't actually mine, and I am not a shill for anyone. No one is asking me to say this, and I was once told, you know, like, never, you know, like, give away any kind of free advertising or something, but I'm going to tell you guys right now. I got this through Buy or Borrow Music. It's my first time that I've done, like, a subscription with them, and it's so cool. You know, you pay your 20 bucks a month, or there's a couple different tiers. I got the lowest tier. You pay your 20 bucks a month, they send you one pedal a month, you get to you know play with it for a month and then send it back. Or, because it is called buy or borrow, um, if you like it enough, you can just decide to buy it and keep it. Uh, some of the items they have that you can buy new or used, their prices on some things are super fair and super competitive for used things. Their prices on others, to me, sometimes seem kind of inflated, including a lot of the Death by Audio stuff. You know, you can, a lot of times for 10 or 20 bucks more, you can just get a new one from Death by Audio. But I still think that this is a really, really cool thing. I'm not gonna take up too much of your guys' time. We're gonna get into the sounds. Uh, it's simple, it's just got the two knobs and the volume on the inside, so it's not gonna take long to go through this. Okay, so we're going to start, uh, both knobs are at noon, uh, I'm in the middle position on my SG and we'll just, uh, we'll go over a couple of sounds here.
as you can hear, rolling up that towards the high. Uh, I mean, it really is a filter and not a tone knob. And I think that becomes more present as you get, you know, more towards that high end. Uh, it gets pretty clean though, like you could almost use it as a clean boost. Maybe not a clean boost, but uh, you know, like it's it's definitely gets into boost territory, and I like the way it sounds like this. We're gonna go down to the bridge. You still get the clarity from your guitar and everything. Um, but this thing also gets very, very clangy. We're gonna turn it up. Uh, looks like maybe about three o'clock. And where are we in? We'll roll this back a little bit. I am still in the bridge position. <laughs> I lied, I'm not in a bridge position. I switched to the middle position, my bad. Uh, but you can hear, I'm gonna go back to the bridge, because you can hear where it just adds so much oomph to the sound. pedal is very noisy. I know you can hear that whine probably. It's just, it's such a noisy pedal. That could be because uh, it is a buy or borrow pedal and gets shipped back and forth a lot. I know they take care of these. I mean, it looks like it's an amazing shape, um, but it also could just be because it's a noisy pedal. I don't really know. But... I've got the gain dimed here, uh, and you can really hear that whistle, but uh, this pedal is so off. That's about it. It's a pretty simple pedal. Um, you know, we can we can really go all the way heavy and all the way dirty. Then we'll take it back the other way. All the way clean, all the way. I haven't actually done that. it. Really, almost completely disappears like that. I suppose you could use it as a. Uh, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be your like bass sound for anything. Um, but I. I mean, like, I like this. I like when it's up high. Um, but. really like the lower gain tones that this can get as well. But it's a pretty simple pedal. I mean, there isn't much to show off here. 
All right, and that was the Death by Audio Germanium filter. This thing is so cool. Um, I think my biggest complaint with like buy or borrow music is that it's gonna make me wanna buy a whole lot of stuff. I, man, I love this pedal so, so much. I do not wanna send it back. I'm going to, but I don't want to. Uh, this is such a cool pedal. If you get a chance to play this, definitely play it. You know, I think it's, it just adds so much that not a lot of other pedals can do. And that's where I think it really shines. All right, everyone, look, short and sweet this week. I've been making some rambly videos. I don't wanna do that. You guys, your time is valuable. I definitely appreciate you watching these. Um, man, hey, listen, if no one has told you this, you are awesome. Not because you watched my videos, but just because you're awesome. And I appreciate everyone who has ever watched one of my videos and left a comment. And listen, I hope you guys have such a good week. Later.